What up boys, it's Kaz, and welcome to Warframe Video. So, second time I'm recording this video, because you know what? That freaking heater just likes to turn on whenever I start recording. But here we are, and we're going to be going over Glaives, and the Glaive Prime specifically. Because you know what? These Glaives are getting some nice buffs. Especially if you're using the right build and the right setup. So, before we get into it, make sure you check out that Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gaz underscore ttv, and sub to this YouTube channel for daily Warframe video uploads. Try to keep that daily upload schedule going. Alright, so what is going on with these glaives? Well, D has got a dev workshop that's coming out. And let me go ahead and grab that link for it. We're going to be getting some changes to the throws and the heavy attack throws. So just for, for a quick basis, let's just show what this current build with my glaive is going to do to these level 180 heavy gunners. They're paused. Keep that in mind. They're paused. So, yeah. So there's some damage fallout there, as you can notice. That's me detonating the glaive mid-air as a heavy attack. Now once we get into these changes, it potentially will do even more damage than that. And I'd also like to point out, I'm actually missing a mod slot on this build. Now we also do have a ribbon, so that is something to keep in mind when you are saying, wow, that was kind of good damage. In this last slot, I'd probably put on Gladiator Might for even more critical damage. That's going to make it so we do even more damage, obviously. Alright, so let's get into it. What are they doing to these glaives, and why should we care? Why Why does anyone care? I, I, I actually read them. At first, I was just going to disregard it, but here we go. Um, so yeah, we've got the dev workshop for glaives. Um, so let's go over it just, like, real quick. Warframe has 22 different melee weapons, yada, 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 no one cares, but um, here's some backstory on Glaives in Warframe. Now, DE made a game called Dark Sector before Warframe came out, and the main character in that game had a Glaive as a melee weapon. It was like one of his main weapons. Once they made Warframe after that game was done, they put the Glaive in Warframe, and now we even have the Glaive Prime, the Prime version of the Glaive. And you even can use a pistol and a Glaive at the same time now with the dual wielding. I really wish they put dual wielding on other weapons, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so, Glaive, they haven't updated Glaives in a while, basically. And they're going to make it so the Glaive is feeling stronger and like a better option with this dev workshop right here. So, quickly, on the heavy attack throw, which we just showed there, the exploding Glaive, they will make it do more damage, and it will have no more damage fall off. As we showed right there, the heavy gunners in the middle of the explosion took like 60,000 slash proc, Heavy Gunners on the outside of the explosion took like 1,700. So now it will do a full damage explosion over the entire radius of the of the the uh, the glaive the glaive bomb. So that will be really really good. If you're using something like Nidus Larva, expect that to annihilate completely annihilate. Let's just quickly we have Nidus Larva right here actually. Um, it will be something like this where you just like you can kill an entire area. Now keep in mind you also need to you have to fully switch to the glaive to. Um, to do the heavy attack throw. So it's still... Heavy attacks are very annoying still, in my opinion. Because look at this. If I um, if I have my pistol, I have the pistol and the glaive at the same time. Fire, fire. Um, you cannot do the heavy attack throw like this. You can throw the glaive and detonate it. But that's not going to be the heavy attack detonation throw. Heavy attacks could definitely use a quality of life change. Where you can go directly from gun to heavy attack. Because you see right here, I'm pushing the heavy attack button currently. And nothing's happening. That's the same with other heavy attack weapons. Like the... The two-handed Nakanas, the Scythes, etc., etc., Redeemer, Strofa, blah, blah, blah. So that's, that would be a nice thing if they changed that, but they are not changing that here, as far as I can tell. So they're making it do more damage, which is ridiculous and good. Um, and then it will also... The hold throw mechanics now apply in equipped melee mode. Okay, whatever that means. Um, hold throw now apply in equipped melee mode. When we added the ability to wield a glaive alongside a one-handed secondary, we introduced a new system for throwing glaives that was quicker and intuitive. But this modern system for both... Ground and air throwing has been applied to pure melee mode, making glaives consistent no matter where you're used. So it's just basically going to make throwing them easier, apparently. I couldn't really tell what they were trying to show us in this video, but here we go. So just really easy to throw the glaive, apparently. Now, he's not dual wielding this video, so I'm not entirely sure what they're trying to show there. But there's a Excalibur throwing a glaive. In glaive and gun mode, players must use melee by detonating the glaive mid-flight. With only the glaive in the hand, the alt fire button is no longer reserved for your secondary fire, which allows you uh, added flexibility. Press the alt fire for heavy attack detonation on tap melee for, for simple recall. So I think that means that you'll be able to detonate it um, 
for a heavy explosion, but you have the pistol equipped. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what they're saying there, in my opinion. But um, there we go. That looked like a heavy attack throw to me. Um, and yeah, like if you have an initial combo Riven, or if you have Corrupt Charge on your build, you'll be able to have a multiplier, a combo multiplier at all times, even after using the heavy attack throw. Glaive throws can not be performed while sliding. I really could not care any less about that. Still, the rule of cool is nice. Throne melee can be queued up, so you can basically make it so you throw a glaive immediately after you throw another glaive. Button's already been pressed. You're ready to throw it as soon as you get it back into your hand, and you can throw the third one after you get it back in your hand again. So, pretty nice there if you just want to spam melee throws. As we saw, as we showed right at the beginning, they're buffing that damage. They're buffing that slash proc damage, and it will, you know, you might want to spam that. Glaives cannot be thrown multiple times in a single jump. That, wow. Okay. No, oh, oh boy. For multiple throws in a single jump? Dude, <laughs> uninstall Cyberpunk right now. This is this is the game right here, guys. Um, with all these improvements, glaive throwing and detonation should be more prominent and viable way to use this weapon. It, it will. If they have no a AOE fall off, that glaive explosion does pretty good damage. Heavy attack build, gonna be juicy. Using a weapon combo will no longer restrict you uh, in movement, so you'll basically be able to use the actual combos in your uh, dual wielding mode now, which is a good change, I guess. It was hardly noticeable before. Um, auto blocking while you're holding. Uh, so basically, you will auto block. Now, you currently don't auto block when you have uh, the pistol out and the glaive, so let's just quickly show that. I mean, I'm going to get instantly gunned down. So you ready for that? Um, basically, you will not block like this. You're taking full damage up front. But if I was to switch to my, um, my melee here... I would block stuff. Or, or, or I don't. Or, or I don't block stuff. I should have blocked stuff there. There we go. It's something like that. Auto blocking. Um, I never really use that, but it is definitely good for survivability. As you see, like, they're not actually damaging me right now. But it has a 55% uh, blocking angle. So not exactly the biggest blocking angle in the game. Right? So, yeah, that's a nice change right there. The blocking adds some survivability while you are actually using the pistol and the glaive at the same time. Um, okay, and they're going to be changing some mods. They're going to be making some mods better. The mod power throw used to give you punch through on the glaive, which is also used back in the day to explode the glaive at your feet for some uh, self-damage shenanigans. They removed self-damage. Thanks for that. Not really. Um, they're buffing it from 0.6 punch through to 2 meters of punch through, and on consecutive throws, increase throw damage by 100%, up to 3 stacks. So you'll be able to do more and more damage with your throw uh, if you consecutively throw them, up to 3 stacks, 300% damage. Um, it'll be great for people who want to catch and release playstyle by the changes of melee input queuing. So just basically spam them throws. We have another mod here called Volatile Rebound. 100% chance to explode on bounce. Disables punch through. So what it seems like that is like every time you will bounce off an enemy with the glaive, it'll explode every time. So, you know, it's kind of cool looking at least. So I'll probably try that one out. Volatile Rebound. And then we have another one called Volatile Quick Return. So basically it will not bounce anymore from enemy to enemy, but it'll have increased blast radius. So it's basically a single throw explode attack. I don't know if that will be really worth the mod slot because it doesn't really increase your damage at all. But, you know, like for normal gameplay, it should be fine. So, and then, uh, unlike the heavy attacks, these explosions from these special mods will not consume your, your uh, combo counter. Equipping Volatile Rebound to inflict as much chaos as possible from a single throw, or vol Volatile Quick Return for rapid targeted strikes. We hope everyone likes these changes. I think these two mods at the bottom look pretty cool. But yeah, I think heavy attacks will be the way to go, guys. Um, it does a lot of damage already. We, we, we could just debuff them with Nova, too, like I said. We can, gi we can give them double damage. Let's do that. Um, double damage. We could also use like an Adarza Kavat for more critical chance, but you know, that's a little bit too tryhard. Um, so let's just grab them all up. Give them double damage. And it, of course, this is with a ribbon. But if we if we had the last mod slot equipped, they would probably just die to one tick of that slash proc, honestly. Um, Arcane Avenger. Like, we're not red critting either. If you have a 12x combo multiplier and you throw that glaive, oh my gosh. It will red crit. It will annihilate. Everything will die. So yeah, glaives will definitely, the glaive prime at least will be really good. Uh, the other glaives don't have four slash procs on their throws. Like for example, the path assist. Let's just quickly show that. You can show the Zorus too. I don't really want to mess with the Zorus right now though. Path assist just comes from the infested uh, Zeloid boss fight. Now we don't have a heavy attack build on here. This thing is not really crit focused. It's got 15% crit chance at base. The, guys, the glaive prime will be the best one. The glaive prime will be the best one. 
Um, but with this build, it's a Blood Rush Weeping Wounds build. Definitely not what we went for in the Glaive. With a Riven and all that, it's going to do like probably like 50 damage. Um, with the Heavy Attack throw. So, don't think that every Glaive will be God tier. It's going to mostly be the Glaive Prime. So, if you don't have a Glaive Prime Riven, I try to get people the heads up on this channel what the good stuff will be. So, the Glaive Prime will definitely be a lot stronger with the Heavy Attack throw after this. And you can still use it as a normal melee weapon. Um... With, like, a little bit lower... It has a little bit lowish range, to be honest. But, um... You know, it has that force slash puck in the throw. We, we probably won't ever need that. And certain enemies like Kuva Liches and, um... Probably the Corpus Liches will not really care about slash procs. But, you know, it's still pretty fun. I mean, the, the Quasis can also do that. There's lots of weapons going to do slash procs. Um, but, yeah, I think a lot of these glaives will be a lot more interesting, potentially. Uh, we've got things like the Orvius, the uh, Falcor, the Serata... And I'd say keep an eye on that stuff. If you are interested in this kind of playstyle, definitely pick up a Glaive Prime and a Glaive Prime Riven. It has relatively high Riven disposition stats. We've got four dots on here, and I mean, like, <laughs> this isn't even a negative. So, yeah, keep an eye on those guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time, and take it easy. Peace.